Consider the relations are A, B, C, D, E and if these are given, B, C to D, A, C to B, E, B to Check the relations is in second NF or not. We need to check whether it is in second NF or not. So first of all, you need to know what is second NF. A relation is in second NF if it is in first NF and it has no partial dependency. So it is based on fully functional dependency. So, so let us uh, consider the uh, concept. First of all, we need to find the candidate key. That is uh, BC plus. We need to find the closure of BC plus. That is equal to BC to D and from B to E then AC plus. AC plus means AC to BE and then B to E and BC to T. So as AC plus equal to ABCDE that is relations equal to R. So it is a candidate key. So it is a candidate key. It is a candidate key. Now we need to find B plus. B plus means B to E. B plus means BE. So this is not a candidate key. So here uh, we need to uh, consider a table. This is a prime attribute, prime attribute, non-prime attribute. Prime attribute mean those that belong to candidate key. They are known as prime attribute. CK, candidate key and subset of CK. Subset of CK. So first of all, uh, prime attribute here, the prime attributes are uh, that is A and C, A comma C. Non-prime attribute remaining that is uh, B, uh, D, E. CK mean uh, that is A, C is the CK. And subset mean A and C individually known as subset. Second in it, NPA arrow NPA is no problem. Even uh, PA arrow NPA is no problem. But subset of CK, subset of CK, arrow in PA is a problem. It's not allowed. Even CK arrow in PA is allowed, but subset of CK arrow in PA is not allowed. So let us consider the FDs. First FDs, BC arrow D. Prime here, BC is a non-prime attribute and D is a non-prime attribute. So non-prime to non-prime is okay. So this is in uh, second enough. Now AC arrow B, AC is a candidate key. And uh, here this is NPA, so it is also can uh, allow second in second NF. Now the final one is B R O E. B is a non-prime attribute, E is a non-prime attribute. So this is also allow in second NF. So from the above example, the relation is in second NF. So we can say R is in second NF. Thank you.